Noah's Ark by Linda Hayward, illustrated by Fury Wright. Noah lived long ago. He was a good man. He listened to God. God told Noah to build an ark. And Noah did. He made it big and strong and long and wide. He made a window at the top. He made a door in the side. God told Noah to put food in the ark and Noah did. He put in hay and seeds and fruits and vegetables. Hay, seeds, fruits, vegetables. God told Noah to take animals into the ark and Noah did. He took in two of every kind. He took in frogs, and lizards, and birds, and beetles. He took in camels, and bears, and lions, and monkeys. In they went through the door. In they went two by two. One, two birds, one, two flamingos, Two elephants, two baboons, two rhinos, two giraffes, two bears, two penguins, two alligators. God told Noah to bring in his family, and Noah did. He brought in his wife and his sons and his sons' wives and his grandchildren. God said, I will send a great flood. It will rid the world of wickedness. Noah watched the rain begin to fall. The rain fell for 40 days and nights. The water covered everything. Noah's ark floated on the water. Everyone inside the ark was saved. Then God sent a wind. The wind dried up the water. The ark came to rest. Noah sent out a dove. The dove came back with a twig. Everyone wanted to go outside, but Noah waited. And then one day, Noah opened the door. The sun was shining. Out came the animals, two by two. Two pigs, two rabbits, two tigers, two horses, two ostriches, two giraffes, different kinds of two birds, oh, two kangaroos, to Buffalo. Noah looked up. He saw a great rainbow in the sky. Then God said, I will never send a great flood again. God told Noah to make a new world. And Noah did. The end. <laughs> Subscribe, thumbs up, support your local readers. I wonder what's up next.